also brings some sadness when you think of the tremendous talent that we lost in 1995, from writers to musicians to comedians and actors. Here are a few of the names and faces we leave behind as we head into 1996. It was a show that charmed millions every week across Canada and the United States during the mid to late 1960s, and Elizabeth Montgomery became everybody's favorite friendly witch, Samantha Stevens. Sadly, she lost her battle with cancer in May at the age of 57. And Bruno Gerussi, a cornerstone of Canadian television and theater, also passed away last year. For a generation of Canadians, Gerussi was the charming beachcomber Nick. But he also had a long and distinguished career in radio and theater. He was 67. And there were others who lit up our lives on a weekly basis. Ava Gabor as sweet Lisa Douglas on Green Acres. She died this summer at the age of 74. Oh, your highness! And actor Gail Gordon, who for years played the cranky but lovable bank manager, Mr. Mooney, on The Lucy Show. He was 89 when he died of cancer. And then there was the sweater girl. Lana Turner was every G.I.'s fantasy during World War II. She went from a screen siren of the 40s and 50s to a more serious actor in her later years. Lana Turner was 75. And, of course, who could forget Ginger Rogers, who died at the age of 83, one half of the most famous dancing team of all time. It was often said she was better than her famous partner, Fred Astaire, because everything Fred could do, Ginger had to do backwards with high heels on also lost to the film world, Ida Lupino, a Hollywood actress in the 40s and 50s who broke the mold by becoming an acclaimed director and producer. She was 77. British stage and screen actor Donald Pleasance also died this year at the age of 75. He gained fame for a number of memorable roles in movies like The Great Escape and A Tale of Two Cities. Found out and director Louis Maul is gone. He was a daring filmmaker responsible for movies soldier. like Pretty Baby, Atlantic City, and My Dinner with Andre. Maul died at the age of 63 after a battle with lymphoma. He is survived by his wife Candace Bergen and a four-year-old daughter. <laughs> On the literary front, Canada lost perhaps its best-loved writer this year. Robertson Davies, the grand old man of letters responsible for so many classics, including the Deptford Trilogy, passed away at the age of 82. And the music world will be a little quieter and a lot less creative with the passing of Jerry Garcia. He was a founding member and leader of the Grateful Dead. As long as Jerry was around, so was the little piece of the 60s. He was 53. And the leader of a band often touted as the next Grateful Dead also died this year. Uh, blind melon frontman Shannon Hoon was just 28 when he died of a drug overdose. The person who helped so many great acts make it to the big time also died this year. Bobby Smith, also known as Wolfman Jack, the quintessential rock and roll DJ, had just finished a book promotion tour when he died of a heart attack this summer. He was 57. 1995 also lost Maxine Andrews at the age of 79, one of the famed Andrews sisters. During the war, Maxine, Patty, and Laverne kept the troops jumping with songs like Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. And the Silver Fox also passed this year. Charlie Rich had hit after hit of the country charts during the 70s, including The Most Beautiful Girl and Behind Closed Doors. Charlie Rich was 62. I guess actors would say that I'm a singer. Singers would say that I'm an actor. The writers would probably say I'm a singer who acts or an actor who sings. <laughs> well, we'll just say he was great at both. He created a folk standard with Jimmy Crack Corn and also won a Best Supporting Oscar for his role in 1958's The Big Country. Her lives was 85 when he passed away. Tragedy struck the music world in March with the murder of Tejano singing sensation Selena. The 23-year-old was shot to death by the president of her own fan club who was later convicted in the killing. And veteran actor and singer Dean Martin passed away on Christmas Day at the age of 78, of respiratory failure, the legendary performer was best known for his association with Jerry Lewis and fellow Rat Packers Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. But of course, he spent much of his career entertaining us on the small and big screens. Well, that's stolen 